What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. If you guys missed the last episode, it's going to be in the top right hand corner. As usual, we'll check that one out if you guys haven't already. Today we're going to be doing the Hunter's Repass quest, so sit back, relax, chill out for a bit. If you do enjoy this one, a like would be greatly appreciated. Also, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any uploads, and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at 808 Black Mamba. Let's get right into the episode. to hide now, Olaf. Gorm is dead. Gorm? Dead? B by your hand? He paid a bloody price for broken honor. I will not say more. Return to your sister. Oh, I will. Yet I would first join the villagers at their fire. They tell stories and I like to listen. Though I do not hear. Story time. Telling sagas of their own? Yes! Yes! They tell stories. Yes, come, listen. Zokki, rarondo de wasagorori ne yotzi zizu, waharu hau toyedene zinuwe rodiskara gete junk kuro takwani dehni zaruki totni takwe ya dehni gana de ziosumwaya danu akwegu. Gasuma Hunzi Yotzi Zizu Yagoda Denequa the Wagu Danu Rarondo de Yasunne Yerde de Zokki, o sumagu, ya untke doda, ahyarek, dogatka negre. Tudayawasi, rarondo de, ya sagorege, o sumagu, ya eant da ne, ne yotzi zizu, zi wa agoyant da haje, wa e na hadu, zi na hoda wa egweni. Nia de gahderege, ya ehoe, zi ya eant da ne, zi de jutsu wagardas. Gods, Rahnaraga, Dagwagarda Duhas. I do not understand. Ah, you want me to tell a story? All right, let me think. A story of betrayal, of selfish malice, and of gods who act as spoiled children. Of all our many gods, it is Odin who is the most revered. He is the All-Father, the High One, the Wise King. But for all his glories, he can also be the most elusive of his kind. Selfish, solitary, stubborn, even cruel. In days long gone, it came to pass that Odin's son, Balder, died suddenly. Failed by his only weakness, Mistletoe. Believing his son's death an accident, Odin sent a message to the Jotun Hel, asking her to return his beautiful boy to life. Hel agreed, but on one condition. Only if every living creature in the Nine Worlds shed a loving tear for Baldur. At once, Odin sent word to every corner of the world, asking all to weep for his beloved boy. And all did. But one. A Jotun named Thok refused to cry for Baldur. Let Hel keep what she has received, Thok said, with malice. And that was that. Baldur was gone forever, sent on a funeral ship across the sea, buried in Midgard, amid trees and rocks. What Odin did not know 
is that Thark was none other than the trickster Loki in disguise. A god he knew as a friend. Worse still, it was Loki who led Balder to his death by a sprick of mistletoe. All these tricks and feints, Loki had conceived. Some say it was in Loki's nature to be so cruel. Others argue it was revenge for deeds done by Odin to Loki and his children. There is a third view, that all these acts, kind and cruel, were sown long ago in the pattern of their lives. That we are not the authors of our own destiny, but only its readers, and that we... Oh... <laughs> uh, that we should fight against this view, for it is deeply unwelcome. Angua gara duha se ne a nowara rao gara. Ne ne o niot ti wat ha det noya ge. Gorham brought this stone across the whale road for a strange purpose. I do not know why, but it seems to belong to this land. Yos, gods. Gwa, ras nu sage, wat neat da herde. Dagwa weird at go? Take it and guard it. It may be that one day you will know its purpose. Thank you. Each of you. For all you have done. Aya Watski. Yeti sot hogungaha. Ayezaha herda da Ratnardaga. No words from Gorm. And he has taken all the Yalra of Yordvik. You shirked your work for quite some time. Yora is no more. My name is Eivor, a dringer of the Raven Clan. And my purpose is fulfilled. Purpose? <laughs> what purpose? Gorm is dead! The troll is dead! Olaf! Sister, let us celebrate. Gorm Kötveson is no more. Slain by Eivor Ravenfriend, Eivor Forest Rider, Eivor Olaversaver. What is this? I had a long-standing blood feud with Garm and his clan. It is now laid to rest. Oh, the skulls will sing of this day. How Eivor traveled far and wide, hunting Gorm along the world's rim. Songs are not. Gorm is dead. Now I suggest you leave this place. There's no purpose for us here. I... I do not disagree. Gordon was a madman and a troll indeed. But he paid us in silver and that was enough. Brother, are you well? I feared the worst for you. I am well, yes. Oh, so well. And I may stay, to linger one season or two, with the friends I have made. As you wish, brother. And you, Eivor, where will you go? Across the sea with us, or back into the woods? I will sail with you. Let's go. Take care of yourself, Olaf. In this life, and the next. Goodbye. Goodbye. Far winds the whale road before me. Dark are the deeds that brought me here. Fate may bind my bones to this land, but for now I walk the sea. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Rantvi. Let's tell her the good news. Ready to set sail? Oh, no, I'm not. I will be back. And I will be here. Good day, Eivor.
My love. You've been away for so long. Were you worried? Of course I was. Such a long voyage. Did you do what had to be done? I did. And I'm eager to focus on problems closer to home. Good. It is done. Gorum is dead. The Kjotvisan clan is wiped from this world. Good. I would like to hear everything about your journey to Vinland when you have time. One day.